Alright, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Right around went from the house and um uh, I got my damn garment, but um uh, I'm not gonna make that trip back to the house for my garment. I'm just gonna go ahead and, 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 and preach the word, you know, and just and just bring it out, man. Shemad, Yashalom, Yahawa, Alahayanawa, Yahawa, Kirk, Shemad, Yashalom, Yahawa, Alahayanawa, Yahawa, Kirk, Shemad, Yashalom, Yahawa, Alahayanawa, Yahawa, Kirk, and call Halayim La, Yahawa, Bahashim Yahawa Shah, Bahashim Kakadash. It's all praises to Yahawa Bahashim Yahawa Shah, whose name? Who is the Most High? In the name of his, his only begotten son, man. You know? Those are those are the true name. And when the worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the worship the one you you call God, you gotta you gotta use those true names, man. You know, because uh no other name under the under the heavens can you be saved in. You know? So with that being said, I wanna say, hey, call Halalim La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Kakwadash, and double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders. Our elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the Lord Select, wherever you may be scattered. Hey, my name is Yum Yum Yah, coming back at you with another uh, Highways and Hedges, man. You know, um, and I'm gonna start it off how I normally start it off, you know, to, to cry loud, you know. Like the Lord said, do cry loud, spare not. You know, I'm, I'm, that's gonna be the first scripture I grab. See, because we don't, we don't supposed to hold back, man, you know. We, we don't supposed to keep our sword uh, back from blood, man. You know? And Lord, we'll not get that, that scripture next, man. Uh, this is the book of, like I said, uh, Isaiah 58. And <clears throat> verse 1, it said, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. So we, we, we are commanded to come out here and, hey, and, and uh and, and speak aloud man you know we're supposed to spare any feelings man we're supposed to tell you where you're going off at so-called negroes latinos and native americans man you're the you're the most high chosen people man you know and the, and this message of repentance is to you man you know repent turn back and seek your power man turn from your wickedness man you know turn from the ways of this world man truth say love not the world man know the ways of this world you know or the, or the things of this world man it may have the love of the world in them any man love his world, he have not the love of the most high in him, man. You know? But um said, cry loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins, man. And like I said, Jacob represents you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, send them, send them no Indians, man. Though those of you been scattered throughout the uh throughout the four corners of the earth, via slave, via the slave trade, man. You know? I said we're supposed to come out here, hey, hey and, and like I said, for, for, hey, forget your feelings, man, and, and how you feel about it, man. For just tell you, hey, are you going out? We're supposed to basically come out here, hey, and tell you what the Most High do to you if you don't repent, man. If you keep, if you keep on with the ways of this world, man. You know. This is um. Uh, let me see if I can grab this scripture right quick. The book of Jeremiah 48 and verse 10 it said, Curse be, be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully, man. Curse be he that doeth the work of Yahweh deceitfully. And curse be he that keepeth back his sword from blood, man. 
So we we supposed to get our swords bloody, man. You know? Cut these people with these scriptures, man. Let them know. Hey man, this is what the Lord requires you, man. The Lord requires you to repent, man. See the Lord hey, the Lord requires something of you, man. You know? You gotta do something, man. For you how about some y'all side, man? You know, you gotta make your bodies a living sacrifice, man. You gotta sacrifice. You gotta hey, you gotta, like I said, you gotta cast off the ways of darkness, man. In order to in order to be saved, I mean, in order to be saved, man. You know? Um The book of Jeremiah, I think it's 10. Jeremiah. So like, where I get that first, I get Jeremiah. Jeremiah 28 and 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and the prophets that have been before thee of old prophesied both against many countries, against great kingdoms of war, and evil, and pestilence, man. And, and the prophets, hey, as the prophets of Yahweh Shem Yahushua, we doing we doing just that, man. Prophesy a hey, the coming of the World War Three, you know, all these pestilences the Lord is gonna keep unleashing upon these uh, upon the earth, and uh and uh a, a bad times coming up on this place, man. Jeremiah thirty and seven, man. Daniel twelve and one, you know. Let me grab grab a couple of those scriptures, man. Those couple of scriptures. Jeremiah thirty and seven. Let's start at four. It said, "For thus said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling and not of fear." I mean, like it. For thus said the Lord, Yahweh. We have heard that voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. See, the Lord is not coming to bring peace on the earth, man. The Lord is coming to bring all hell upon the earth, man. The Lord is, hey, the Lord is coming to bring war, you know? And after, and after that war, you know, and by war, the Lord's going to bring peace, man. Because, hey, when, when his people are put back in their places, you know, the places that was coming to, coming to us uh, by the Most High, to our forefathers, then there will be peace on the earth, man, because the righteous gonna gonna rule the earth again, man. You know, under 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 Yahweh Shai, King David, man. You know, the, the, the righteous order is gonna be established back in the earth once again, man, because our people are out of order, man. You know, people are out of order. Hey, hey, hey Esau Edom, hey, it's the wicked that he's ruling this world, man. And un under Esau Edom, hey, these people, hey, they have waxed worse, man. You know, growth, like the scriptures say, growth darkens the people, man. You know, because they got a wicked ass leader, man. You know, because the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Job 9 and 24. You know? He said, Ask ye now and see whether a man do it travail with a child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. So, hey, times are finna get so damn bad. I hear, hey, women, hey, men is gonna be as women in these days to come, man. You know? He said, at last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even at the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. He is referring to the Lord's elect, man. You know? Hey, the man that is going to be found worthy enough, you know, through mercy of the Lord, of Yahweh Shem Yahushua to be delivered, man. You know, to be delivered out of, uh, out of the great tribulation that's coming upon the face of the earth, man. You know? But it's going to be those men that are found faithful, you know, and remain faithful, man. Those men that, that don't take the, uh, the MOTV, man. Don't, don't take that chip, man, you know? I mean, they don't bow down to this uh to this image, man. To this damn, to this beast system, you know? See, because, hey, all hell's gonna get ready to break loose here, man. You know, you got the damn food supply chains are failing. Uh, monetary systems, hey, they, they are getting ready to drop this, man. Um, You got damn Esau Edom finna come down with Great Ref, Revelation 12 and 12, man. Let me grab that. Revelation 12 and 12 it said, um, it said, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath. You know, so the devil has come down unto, unto, unto the Israelites, man, having great wrath, man. You know, and because, because what it say, because he know he have a short time, man. So the, hey, this damn devil, hey, they know they got a short time, man. They know that they know that they their rulership is almost over with, man. You know, and, and, and the end of their rulership comes war, man. Cause your house gonna hey through war and through death, hey, it, 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 that's how these people is gonna lose their power, man. You know? And and, and slavery, man, because they're gonna be enslaved, man. Your house is coming to put these damn devils in slavery, man. You know, because hey, they 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 enslaved the apple of his eye, man, you know. Even though that was ugly, how about some y'all shot for our disobedience, man? You know? You know, but hey, the scripture said man, man's goings are of the Lord, man. How can a man then understand his own way? 
you know? And, 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 and it was meant for us to go in slavery because of yeah, our disobedience, man. Because we we, we, we disobeyed, directly disobeyed the, the commandments of the Heavenly Father, man. So you have about Yahweh Shah, he sent our enemies against us, man. You know, and they ruled over us, man. You know, and it was cruel to us, man. You know? You know, you know, hey, you know that you know the history of uh, of slavery, man. You know? And but but the Lord said, hey, these people ain't gonna pay for this, man. He, he gonna fill to their cup double, man. You know? How you doing? I know. They gonna fill to their cup double because Hey, let me see if I can get that right quick. But the Lord said, hey, within one hour, this place is going to be, hey, he's going to take this place out, man. In one, one hour, man. You know? Revelation 9 and um, 9 and 6 and it reads and in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them so how about some y'all shot hey, hey man shit gonna get so bad out here that hey man people are gonna wish they was dead man people gonna people is gonna beg for death man but the Lord hey the Lord ain't gonna let hey he gonna keep the spirits in their bodies man you know you know because hey Scripture said the same must know that the death by pain, man. You know, hey, you gonna have to, hey, you, have, you gotta go through some shit, man. It ain't gonna just be easy to just hey, give up spirit, man. You know. It's the book of um. I think this is. I think it's Ezekiel. Ezekiel 33, if I'm not mistaken. Ezekiel 33. Ezekiel 33 and verse uh, verse 1 and it reads again the word of the Lord came unto me saying son of man speak to the children of thy people and say unto them when I bring a sword upon that land and if the people of that land take a man of their coast and set him up for the and set him for their watchman and if he's if when he see the sword come upon the land and he blow the trumpet and warn the people hey and that's that's what we doing now, man. Cause y'all about some y'all shot. He already, he already, uh, he already prophesied and said that hey, he's bringing a sword upon the land, man. He's not bringing peace, man. And that was for the last days, man. You know, that was for the time that we in, man. It said, and if, and, and if when he see the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. So, this, hey, so, so, hey, this, this is your warning, man. The prophets are out warning you people. Hey, hey, return from your wickedness, man. Turn from your wickedness, man. Repent. Seek the Lord while he may be found, man. Before the evil days draw nigh, man. Seek you. How about some of y'all shot now, man? Seek the Lord. Fear the Lord, man. Fear you. How about some of y'all shot? Hey, in order to fear you, how about some of y'all shot? The Lord say, hey, you must keep his commandments, man. You know? And that, that is how we show we, that's how we show love to the most high, man. You know? It said, then whosoever, this is verse 4, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. So because you because you don't want to turn from your wickedness, nor seek your house from Yahweh Shah. So when the house Shah can bring that sword upon you and bring death, the Lord said, your, your blood is going to be upon your own selves, man. You know, because, hey, you, you got the message, man. But you repented not, man. You didn't want to, you didn't want to, uh, you didn't want to confess your sins, nor turn from your wicked ways, man. You, 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 you love darkness rather than light, man. You know, and, and the people that perish is going to be those who don't have the light, man. Those who don't have the, uh, the testimony of Yahweh Shah, Shah, man, which is the spirit of prophecy, man. You know, those who don't have your house shot, those who don't, we, we don't even want to go through your house shot, man. Even, even Israelites, man. Those who claim to be Israelites, but don't want, hey, don't, but don't want to go through your house shot. Want to deal with the Most High directly, man. Who gonna be your cover? Who gonna, how, how, how are you gonna have a covering for your sins, man? 
you know, because Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah came to bring us back, back into the falls of the Father, man, you know? He was our mediator, man, you know? Just like the man is set up for the woman to go back, uh, just right, for the woman to get to Yahweh Shah, man, you know? See, Yahweh Shah is our door, man. He's our way back, you know? And without Yahweh Shah, hey, I mean, we wouldn't make it, man. We wouldn't, hey, the Lord had to send, he had to send a savior, man, you know? It said, this is verse five, he heard he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning his blood should be upon him, but he that take warning shall shall deliver his soul, man. So hey, you gotta take warning of this, man. You gotta you gotta take heed to the warning that the that the hey that the men of the Lord are are, are, are given, man. You know, and and, and, and that's through your how about some y'all shot, man. Because hey, that, that is the that is your how about some y'all shot, hand stretched forth, man, you know? He, he's still calling you and trying to pull you into his foes, man, because before he bring the ultimate destruction upon this place, man. Before he bring the, the ultimate plague, man. You know? And, and, and you already know, we know we in the last days by the prophecies of Howard Shah said that will be uh, taking place before his return, man. You know? It said, but verse 6, it said, but if the watchmen see the sword and come, so lucky, but if the watchmen see the sword and blow out the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any persons from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand, man. So thou son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, verse 7, therefore thou shalt hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. So we are here in the stead of Yahabashim Yahweh Shai, giving you warning from the heavenly father, hey, the creator of the heavens and the earth, man. Let you know what he said. Thus said Yahabashim Yahweh Shai, what's been getting ready to take place, man. You know, because, hey, the mouthpiece of Yahabashim Yahweh Shai, are his men, man, you know? But the people are asleep, man. The people are asleep, you know? But the scriptures say, hey, now it's time to wake up out of sleep, man, because it's high time. Now it's high time to wake up out of sleep because our salvation is uh, is, is nearer than when we believe, man, you know? You know? Let me grab that right quick, man. I'll be back in Ezekiel 33. Is it First Corinthians? Romans chapter 13 and 11. Romans 13 and 11. It said, And that knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent, and the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly in the day, as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, you know, and slumbering, like in the slumbering state of mind, man. You know? And um and not in chambering and one ton is not in strife and envy. But put ye on the Lord Yahweh Shahamashiach and make not provisions for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof, man. You know? So hey, we we hey like the Lord say now's high time, man. Now's the time, man. You know, when you when you when you hit the, when you hear these words, man, it, it it's time to hey put put your foot in action, man. You know? So, hey, hey, what the scriptures say, uh, make not haste, uh, you know what, let me grab that right quick. This is Ecclesiastes, known as Sirach, chapter 2 and verse 2. Let me grab it out of my page, JB, 1611. The rock two and two. I'm gonna start at one. It said, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart right, set thy heart aright, and custody endure, and make not haste in the time of trouble. It said, Cleave unto him, and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. And, and whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Yeah, and, and, and we're going through that furnace of adversity now, man. And, and we, we, hey, we suffering now, like the hey, like like the, like the hell to say, we suffering now. So we ain't gotta suffer when the rest of the world suffer, man. 
when these when these people suffer, when the wicked suffer, you know? Even though they're in a suffering state, you know? But but we we we're going through our trials and tribulations now, man. You know, so Lord willing, we be those men who the Lord have mercy on and and and, and uh keep a covering on us when when the evil days come, man. You know, the time of Jacob's trouble, the time of all hell breaking loose. You know, the, the time of uh uh the time of just like I damn like anarchy, man, you know what I'm saying? But um it said, believe in him and he will help thee order thy way right and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, await for his mercy and go not aside, at least you fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, see that the Lord is talking about fear. Fear, fear the Lord. You gotta fear the Lord, man. You gotta fear the Lord in order to be delivered, man. You know? The, the, hey, the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, man. You know? It said, and ye that fear the Lord, believe him and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, Hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. He said, look at the generations of old and see, did any, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? And no, none, none that trusted in Yahweh Hashem Yahushua was confounded, man, because Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, hey, say it, it take faith to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, man. You can't serve Yahweh Hashem Yahushua without faith, man. You know, the scripture say, hey, without faith it is impossible to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, man. You know. And, and, and with faith, you're going to be doing something. See, because hey, with, with faith, come works, man. And, 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 and works in faith. They go hand in hand, man. You know? And that's how we show our faith by our works as well, man. You know? Um, it said, look at the generations of old and see that if did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in his spirit and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that call upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction, man. Woe be unto the fearful hearts and the faint hands and the sinner that go two ways, man. So you can't serve your Hashem Yahushai and do what the hell you want to do. You know, you can't just do what the hell you want to do, man. You can't, you can't, you can't be in this world. The Lord said, be in the world, but not of the world. You know what I'm saying? You can't be of the world and and, and decide and say, hey, I'm gonna serve. I'm gonna serve the Lord. This is how I serve the Lord. Now the Lord already tell us how to serve Him, man. You know? He said, He said, Woe be unto you. Woe mean destruction, man. Death. You know? He said, Woe unto you. Woe unto you that have lost patience. It's like it. Woe. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he be not defended. So the Lord won't defend you, man. If you ain't got patience, man. If you lost patience, man. You know? He said, um, woe, woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Man, what are you gonna do when you have my Lord shall visit you, man? Huh? Huh? What, what are you gonna do, man? Huh? The Lord, the Lord says, seek him now. Fear him now. Now is the time to fear you. How about you was shot, man? Not later, man. See, because, hey, like the brother said, you're going to fear your house shot now or you're going to fear him later. One way or another, you're going to fear you. How about you was shot, man? You know? He said, they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. And they that love him will keep his. Hey, 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 this is to me first and foremost, man. You know? He said, and they, they that fear the Lord will seek that which is pleasing unto him. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. And they that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight. See, because the Lord, hey, the eyes of the Lord are everywhere, man. The eyes of the Lord are ten times brighter than the sun, man. The Lord seeth all, man. You know? He said, saying, saying, we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. See, we don't fear man, you know? We don't fear what a man can do to us, man. We fear you. How about shooting all the shot, man? We don't fear a man that is able to kill the body, like the scripture said. Fear not him that is able to kill the body and not the soul, but rather fear him that is able to destroy both the body and the soul in hell, man. You know? It said, saying, we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men, for as his majesty is, so is his mercy, man. And that's what we hope for. We hope for the mercy of your how about shooting all the shot, man? Because without that mercy, we're through, man. We're doomed, man. You know? Through, only through mercy is going to be the way we make it up out of here, man. Only through mercy, man. You know? So that's why we glorify you. How about some y'all shot now? You know? We glorify you. How about some y'all shot now? In the sight of men. So you how about some y'all shot? Lord willing, hey, he can confess us 
Yeah, how Shaq can confess us to his father, man. You know? Look, we see what we're fighting for. We're fighting for the crown of salvation, man. You know, we're fighting to be crowned at the end of the day, man. You know? That's that's what we're fighting for, like, like the book of Ezra say, man. You know? So that's, and that's why we do this, man. That's why we do this, man. See, because we want the Lord to have mercy on us, man. You know? Yup. Know? And, and that's why we do we do this because we fear Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You know? See, and the Lord knows who fear him. You know, the Lord knows who's his, man, at the end of the day. See, you can't deceive Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai read the hearts of men. You know? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai already know who fears him. He already know who's his, man. He already know who, who, who stalked him. See how about y'all shot set up everybody in their life anyway, man. You know? Everybody is in the will of the Heavenly Father, whether they want to be or not, man. Cause cause your hey, the will of your, your lot could be a scoffer, man. You know? Your, your lot could be a servant of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Your lot can be a helper of, of the prophets. You know what I'm saying? Whatever lot you're in, that's the lot Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai got you in, man. You don't choose your own path. There's no free will, man. You know? And it really ain't no choosing, really, man. Yahweh Shai got those who he won't serve him, serving him, man. And that's how it's gonna go, man. Cause it's already written. It, it was written for the foundation of the world, man. The Lord already, the Lord already knew. He already knew this book, man. He already knew the story, man. He put everything into his perspective, everything in place, man. You know? Going to the book of Second Ezra, this chapter, um, Get it out of my heart back. Second is 15 and 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, which you so-called, again, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, Seminole Indians, hey, all the way down to the Mexicans. You 12 chart, you 12 tribes. The Lord is speaking out to you. He's calling his hand out to you, man. He's calling out to you through his prophets, man. His hand is still stretched out to this day, man. You know? Serve you how about Shemyao Shah with all your might, man. But hey, like I said, he's he's saying he called he's sending his prophets out to speak in your ears, man. You know? Speak in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in their mouth, in thy mouth said the Lord, man. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And these words are faithful and true, man, because they hey, this is the word you have about Shemia Shai, man. That's it's faithful and true. It's gonna come to pass, man. It is gonna come to pass. It said, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee, and let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. And that word incredulity just means disbelief. You know, the non-belief of them, man. And let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. See, because you don't believe. So what? Like the brother Kazak was going to from Mississippi. Uh, so what if you don't believe, man? So what if you don't believe, man? That ain't gonna stop us from serving you. How about shot at the end of the day here? If you don't believe, that, hey, that's your salvation. You know what I'm saying? That is that is on you, man. You know? Just because you don't believe, hey, that, that's that, uh, what it say, um, because you don't believe that that make the uh the will of the most high without effect and something that something of that nature, man. You know? And what it say, the most high forbid, man. See the, the prophecy is gonna pop, prophecy is gonna happen regardless, man. Whether you believe or not, man. You know? Maybe you weren't in the lot to believe, like I was just stayed just a second ago. Maybe that wasn't your lot to be a believer, man. Maybe you had to be a disbeliever. You, you, you had to, you had to be uh, you had to have the incredulity, man. You know, you had to have the incredulity. You know, some somebody could be a uh, non-believer. You know, it's just like you gotta have you gotta have an elect and you gotta have a non-elect, man. You know, you gotta have you gotta have one third and you gotta have the two thirds, man, because it's it's written, you know, and it's written that the one third of the, the one third of the nation of Israel is gonna be saved, man. One third, one third of the most highest people are gonna be delivered. Zechariah 13 and 8 on down, man. You know? For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So, so the Lord said all the unfaithfulness going they're gonna die in their unfaithfulness, man. Because why? Yahweh Shemel Shah is a just power, man. You know? He's a, he's a God of balance, man. You know? How about Shemel Shah is a God of balance, man? 
You know, nothing, nothing is unrighteous with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Including his judgment, man, because, hey, the Lord judges, he's a God of judgment, man. He's known for his judgment, man. Come on now. The Lord said he kills and he, and he heals, man. You know? What it say? He kills and he make alive. He wants, he heals. Let me grab that. This is the book of um, Deuteronomy chapter 32. And 39. Says, so see now that I, even I am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So you, you how about some outside? Making alive and he and he killed man. He wounded, he healed. Just that simple, man. Yep. He said, um, for I lift up my hand to heaven and I say I live forever. And I and I if I wet my glittering sword in my hand, take hold on judgment, I render vengeance to my enemy and I reward them that hate me. So the Lord is gonna reward all those that hate him. And all you disbelievers, you non believers, he's gonna reward you for your unbelief, man. You know. See, because of, if you're not of the righteous, you're part of the wicked, man. You know? And only the righteous is, the righteous is Israel and, and is the elect, man. You know? Who are the saints, man? You know? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse, um, verse 5. It says, these twelve Yahweh shall sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go into the go in, not into the way of the Gentiles, nor into any city of the Samaritans in the not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. Go out into the uh, and go out to the house of Israel. Go out to the lost sheep. You know? See the Lord and put the spirit back on the prophets in these last days. You know, start with Abba Bivens, you know. To all. Uh, Hey, bring back the children to the father, man. You know? Bring back the children back to the father. You know, bring that. Because uh, the, the Lord said in the last day, we shall remember ourselves, right? And what he said in the land of our enemies. You know what? Let me see if I can grab that. First, I'm going to get, uh, let's continue. from your heritage. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. It said, And thou even thyself even thyself shall discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not for thou have, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever, man. So the Lord said, we, we discontinue from my heritage because we disobeyed his voice, man. You know? So this, this is why we, uh, for, for a period of time, we didn't know that we were Israel. We didn't know that we were Israelites, man. We didn't know that we were the most high chosen people, man. You know, we were just going off the bywords, what, what our enemy called us, man. You know? Well, the, the curses of Deuteronomy 28, man. You know? We, we, we was going off of those, those, uh, those, those false names, you know, that we was labeled as, man. But... But the scripture I want to get. the book of 
Baruch chapter 2 and verse 32. <clears throat> Hold on, wait a second. This is the book of Baruch chapter 2 and 29. If you will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a, a, a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. Verse 30, for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves and, and shall know that I am the Lord their God. He is the Lord our power. For I will give them a heart and ears to hear, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. And that's what we do. We think upon the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah. Yahweh means he to be. He exists. He he is, man. Wah Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah means he is salvation. He is the deliverer, man. You know? And and, and we, we we put off those names that we learn uh in his captivity, uh, uh, Jesus Christ and all these other false gods, man. You know, these, these false names, which was given to us by enemies, man. You know? And the Lord said we should think upon his name. See, because the name is important, man. The Lord said, um, you know what? I'm going to come right back to that. See, because, I mean, I'm all over the place. But, hey, Lord willing, this is edifying, man. This is the book of Proverbs 30 and 4. See, this is something that this is something that these pastors in these churches they don't do, man. They don't they don't go into prophecy. They don't even really go into the scriptures, man. They they preach uh feel good uh sermons and shit, man. Prosperity doctrines, man. That's what they preach, man. They don't even go into they, they don't even go into the names, man. They don't even break the names down. They don't go into what the Lord requires. They don't know that they, they don't go into the judgment. How about some y'all about some y'all shy? Nor even the coming of the Lord, man. They don't go into who you really are as a people. They don't, they hey. They don't go into none of this stuff, man. You know? Just deceivers, man. Deceiving and being deceived, man. You know, but the Lord said, hey, the deceived and the deceiver are his, man. You know? So it's the Lord that deceive you, you uh you, you you people through these pastors and through these uh so-called these these false prophets, man. You know, this is the book of uh, Proverbs 30 and 4. It says, who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who will establish all the ends of the earth? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name? If thou can tell. And we can tell, man. We can tell through faith. Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, man? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shot, man. And those are the, those are the only names, you know. See, because the Lord said, "Hey, the world can't even receive this, man." You know, the world can't receive this. This is not for the world. This is for a, 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 a very small remnant, man. You know, and you even got people that don't call upon the name Yahweh shot. But the Lord said, "Hey, uh, he he was gonna tell them that he have not known them, man." Depart from me, ye work iniquity, man. You know? Those are gonna be the very those are gonna be the scariest words, man. It said, every word of the most high is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. And thou unto and thou not unto words from Slakia. And not unto words Slakia. And thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar, man. He said, two things that two things have I required of thee, deny me them not before I die. He said, remove from, far from me vanity and lies, give me neither poverty nor riches and something else. But yet the point was made. He 
going back into Baruch chapter um, chapter 2 and verse verse 30 31 and, I, and, and shall know that I am the Lord their power for I will give them a heart and ears to hear me and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and shall think upon my name and return from their sniff neck and their wicked and from their wicked deeds. For they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they shall be lords of it. And I will increase them, and they should never, and they should not diminish. So the Lord said, "Hey, He's gonna increase us and continue to increase us." He said, "Oh, oh, oh, how, how one shall become a thousand, man? We, so we are gonna have a lot of babies in the kingdom of heaven, man. You know." And the Lord said, "He will never diminish us, man. So, so, and, and I will make, I will make an everlasting covenant with them, and to be their power, and they shall be my people." And I will no more drive my heart, means like my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. And we are not in the land yet, man. We are not in the land. And, and those, those, uh, those false Jews over there, those are not the people of the Lord, man. Those are not the men of the Lord, man. You know? So, hey, what we gotta do is, like I said, we just we gotta repent, turn back to our power, man. You know? Proverbs 1. In Proverbs 1, man. Seek the Lord while he may be found, man. You know? Proverbs chapter 1. You know what? I'm, I'm going to come back to that. I want to get this here. Uh, This is the book of uh, Matthew 11. Matthew 11 and 17. <clears throat> I'm going to start at um, 15. It's a he that have ears to hear, let him hear me. But where unto you, where unto shall I liken this generation? Scars come back. You know, but he said, uh, back again at the top is Matthew uh, 11 and 15. He that have ears to hear, let him hear him. But where unto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling out unto their fellows and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto ye you and ye have not lamented This is what I want him here. Ezekiel 33. I'm going to work my way down into Ezekiel. 33rd chapter. Walk back all the way back to Ezekiel again. Ezekiel 33 and 14. It said again, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die if he turn not from his sin. So if you don't turn from your sin, the Lord said, you're going to surely die, man. You're going to perish. 
and, and do that which is lawful and right. It said, if the wicked restore the pledge given again, give again, and he had robbed, walked in the statutes of, of life without committing iniquity, he shall surely live and shall not die. None of his sins that he have committed shall be mentioned unto him. He, he have done that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live. He said, yet the children of thy people say, the way of the Lord is not equal. But as for them, their way is not equal. When the righteous turn from his righteousness and committed iniquity, he shall even die thereby. But if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful and, and right, he shall live there, thereby. He shall live thereby. Yet ye say, the way of the Lord is not equal, O house of Israel, I will judge you everyone after his ways going down i'm just gonna go all the way down into the 32nd verse 30 i'm gonna start at 31 it said and they come unto thee as the people come in and they sit before thee as my people and 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 they and they hear thy words but they will not do them so, so they, they hear the words of the lord they hear the words coming off the pages you know, coming from the scriptures, but the Lord say they will not do them, man. You know, He said, for their, their, for with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goes goes after their covetousness, man. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that pat, ha, have a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. And when this come to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them, man. So when all hell get to break the loose, and hey, 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 man, when, when people start uh, uh, invading one another, you know, for the lack of bread, uh, spoiling goods, then you, should, then you should know that a prophet has been among you, man. You know, you, you should know that, hey, the Lord had already given me the warning, man. Then you go try to think for the name of, Hey, what was that name? What, what, what was that? Uh, what was them brother saying? What was, what was them men saying? What, what the name? What the name was? I try to think of the name. Your whole side, man. But you, hey, the Lord is not gonna hear that, man. The Lord is not gonna hear you. Proverbs one. Proverbs one and uh. Proverbs one and verse. Twenty. It said, "Wisdom cried without; she uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of conquest. You know, and, and wisdom is referred to as a woman, man. Sophia, man. You know, Sophia. You know, she cried in the chief place of conquest in the openings of the gates, man. You know, in the openings of the gates in the city, she uttered her words, saying, how long these simple ones, these simple people? You know." Will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorners and fools hate knowledge, man. So how long you fools gonna uh, dislike knowledge? How long you fools gonna reject knowledge, man? You know? How long you niggas gonna reject this word, man? It said, turn you in my reproof. Behold, I pour out my spirit unto you. And I will make known my words unto you. And that's what the Lord is doing now. He's making known his words unto you, man. You know? Cause this, you don't hear these words in the church houses, man. You don't you don't hear these words coming from these uh these these damn pork chop eating pastors, man. You know? You don't you don't hear this coming from these people, man. These damn te televangelists. You don't you don't hear this. You know? It said, because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. So the Lord stretching out his hand, but no man regarded, man. You know? But ye have sought it not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity and I will mock when your fear cometh. And when your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind and when distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me. So the Lord said, you're going to call upon him when, hey, when, when you can your goddamn, when you can, when you catch all hell, man. You know? You're going to call upon him then, man. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Why? Because 
you chose not to do the things that the Lord delight in, man. You 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 rather do that in which He delighted not in, man. You know, you rather you rather delight in wickedness, man. You know, you rather choose wickedness, man. It said, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they were none of my counsel. They despised all of my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the eat the fruit of thy own way. So like it. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices, man. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whosoever hearkeneth to me shall dwell safely, and she be and shall be kept quiet from the fear of evil. So the Lord got those who trust in him, man. He's going to be a covering to those who trust in him, you know? And the, and the wicked is going to continue to do wickedly, man, you know? Up until the very last, to the very last minute that they, that they can do wickedly, man, you know? You know? So, hey, it's time to get some fear. It's time to get some fear of the Lord, man, you know? It's time to seek you. How about some young shy while he may be found, man? The book of Sirach, chapter 9. Sirach, chapter 9, and verse 12. Verse 11, it said, Envy not the glory of a sinner, for, for thou knowest not what shall be his end. Delight not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in, but remember they shall not go unpunished until their grave. Keep thee far from the man that have power to kill, so shall thou not doubt the fear of death. And if thou come unto him, make no fault, lest, thou, lest he take away thy life presently. Remember that thou goest in the uh, midst of snares, and that thou walkest upon the battles of the city. Is it as near as thou canst guess at thy neighbor and consult with the wise? Is it let thy talk be with the wise and all thy communication in the law of the Most High? And, and let just men eat and drink with thee and let, and let thy glory be in the fear of the Lord. And what they say right there, they say, let thy, let, let thy, let thy talk be with the wise and, and thy communication in the law of the Most High, man. So, what the scripture said, hey, what, what must our uh, conversation be, man? You know? That's in the book of, um, that's the book of Second Peter.
It said, this is Second Peter chapter eight, the three and eight. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord is a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering towards upward, usward. To us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. See, that's all that's all the Lord wants you to do, man. The Lord just wants you to repent, man. You know? The Lord wants you to repent, man. Come back, come back to Him. Come back and serve your power, man. Your creator, man. Do what you was created for, you know? Come back and serve your how about Shimmy How Shah, man. You know? But the Lord said He's he gonna put people in, in that lot, man. If you was a scoffer then, you was gonna be a scoffer now, man. If you was a scoffer, if you was a scoffer back in your in your previous lives, even when Yahweh Shah was on the scene, man, hey, you're gonna be a scoffer now, man. You know? You know? And, and you was a holy woman back in the days. You come back in your lot, man, as a holy woman, man. You know? But the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. But the Lord said, Hey, the elements is gonna melt with fervent heat, and the day of the Lord is gonna come. I didn't it read it. said, In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Talk about those ICBM, uh, those nuclear, those nuclear missiles that's gonna impact, that's gonna impact this earth, man. That's gonna impact America. Babylon the Great, man. You know? And the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So seeing that, that all these shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the day, until like unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So the Lord said, Hey, we. Our conversations to consist of, uh, 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 of of godliness, man. Our holy conversation and godliness, man. You know, continue to speak on prophecy, man. You know, on, on repentance. You know, on how we gonna serve you. How about some y'all shot, man? You know. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna end it there, Lord willing. It was edifying, man. So what we gotta do now? Hey, the message is seeking. How about some y'all shot? Fear, you, fear the Lord, man. Fear the Lord. Because, hey, all hell is about to break loose, man. All hell is about to break loose. Hey, hey, hey it's going to get so damn bad here, man. Hey, you're going to wish that you had to fear the Lord, man. You're going to wish that you had to fear you. How about some y'all shot in, man? You know? You know? And when you go to seek you, how about some y'all shot? It's going to be too late. When you go to seek the Lord, it's going to be too late, man. So with all that being said, I would say, call halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Hey, shalom to the Lord select wherever you may be. Hey, Kwame Yasharala and the Bob Babal, man. Shalom.